And here we are. Another day. Another five dollars. The sun's coming up. Man, it's like Groundhog Day. Nah, that's a lie. Ain't none of my days like Groundhog Day. It's something different every day. I thank God for that. Today's video, I arrived in Chicago, I guess a week ago, and visited Alex at Swedish Car Parts. We uh, kind of moved around the shop a little bit, just talked some business and great news. He has a version of the 850R bumper about to hit the shelves, man. Get you some. Let me tell you something. I think those things are going to go like caramel popcorn at Christmas time. And that stuff's going to go fast. So don't mess around and miss it. Save up your money. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know. But heck, uh, Volvo was selling them. Man, I don't know. They're brand new. I guess they're going to be primed for paint. And when they hit the shop, we'll let people know they're there. And man, that, phew, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five R's. I could use five of those things. Now, I doubt I can afford five of them. But... I'm going to get me some. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to save every penny I can from now till they hit the shelves. Anyway, stopped by Swedish Car Parks. Just kind of pedaled around. That's all this video is. So, hope you enjoy it. Relax. Have a good Tuesday. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the Tinker Day. Close to the O'Hara Airport. Nice to meet you. <laughs> there you are, Alex himself, and meet the <laughs> first order of the day. We're on our way to plant strawberries. <laughs> you a little, little, little job over here? Yeah. Oh my lord, they got a whole garden over here. What you do in the big city. My nice. Little, little, like my little right here. Where's your uh, irrigation system? Irrigation? Yeah. We take some buckets of rainwater. Top soil. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Nutrient rich topsoil. Add it up a little bit. Good. Yeah, we gotta go flat too often, I think. I think 
I have a new neighbor. Really? Yeah, he's doing work out of his little stores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here. That's abnormal. Grinding. They don't normally like you working out of those storage buildings. We're going to just uh, add some water to the event. Right here, my white buckets. As captured rainwater? Huh? As rainwater you got? Yeah. Nice. Hopefully they will, 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 will stand the shock. Now it's time for God to do his part, huh? The creative genius. A little bit of water. We don't have a little garden, do you? Nope. Yeah, it's all dried up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not there enough for that. Okay, time to do the next phase of completing the task at hand. With what? You got into Sebastian's car? Yeah. That's the main thing? Yeah. I'd like to start like Wednesday or Thursday. But if I need to start next Tuesday, that's fine too. You let me know. I think I will. I just have to throw the valves in the boat in the cylinder head. And that's it. Go together. You gotta adjust those valves, right? I'm gonna make it to the right height. I'm gonna measure the ones and yeah. torque them. I'll make it the same height. Okay. I have a way of measuring. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, they do require adjustments. Yes, right. Okay, folks, pick a hand. All right, you win. Look what I got here. Custom made door pull screw caps. Come in two different colors. You got the right and the left. And let's see if this is the right one for this side. Oh, maybe this is the right one for this side. Oh, yeah, there it is. I can see the edge where it was busted. Bam. Clicks on. This is the one for this side. And you don't have them falling off. How about that? Oh, let's try this one. Man, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't have no more, man. I'm all full. I mean, I gave you two. Let me go get another one real quick. Oh, my. I got chip paint on this wheel already. Crap. Let me go find my spray can. Probably didn't scrape it off good enough to start. I'll re-scrape that and touch that up. Besides that, let's get back to this. So the lip goes on the bottom like so. See that lip? That thing pops right in place. The teeth are longer. They won't fall off. Sometimes the aftermarket stuff is better than the original stuff. Get you some! Links in the description from Swedish Kabats. And you will be good to go. Covering up those loose ends let me see if i got any more yep i got another one back there look how many of these things was busted this one back here is barely holding on yep gotta put one on there i have a p2 rear wing here i don't want to put it on ebay and watch it get run up but it's got a good light assembly on there when i took it off that pulled open your double-sided tape will close that up. I accidentally cut that stud off. So you could epoxy one on, make your own or whatever. That is threaded. I do have this thing, but I don't know where. But anyway, again, your double-sided tape will keep that thing on tight. And it's for sale on my website. 
Go get you some. We got a P1 S40. Busted every valve in that head, man. Look at them valves. Them valves are open as it gets. Serpentine belt came loose. Wrapped up in the crank. And blew those valves. So I'm going to pop the valves up real quick. Trying to get this car out of here because it is in the way. Let's get cracking. This is the best way to tell if you got a bent valve or not. Stand that thing up, and if it's pimping, <laughs> it's bent. It's bent. One of five million in the Chicago area right now. Da -da 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 -da. He came to watch us work on the cylinder head. He's gonna go outside. Doo -doo -doo. Gonna Come on. Uh -huh. go outside. Teamwork. The Volvo tool and the Harbor Freight tool. Knocking these valves loose. Do, 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 do. That big lever on there. Bam! We get action. One, two. Pow. Cash. <laughs> the clumsiness. Dang, just pop that thing right loose. One, one, two. The keeper, the keepers. <laughs> Bam. It's machine shop style. One. Mm. And the last bent valve goes to Gates. The belt that wish it could. One. Change number two. Two. Now for the intake valves. Got to keep these valves in order because you got to, he said he's going to straighten them back out, measure them, and cut the new valves to these heights. Yep. But I think he's going to, you're going to cut the seats first, set them in. No, no, no. I'm going to cut the new valves. Well, first, I'm going to measure them. Okay. After I get them done, I'm going to see if this replacement is the same size. If it's the same size, I'm going to bother. I'll make it. Run it through. I'm gonna put in a lathe with a roller behind it. Advance it. The steady rest with a roller. And that's, uh -huh. it. that's it for today, man. I had a late night yesterday. Didn't get done working till nine thirty, ten o'clock. Got back home ten thirty. Ate a late dinner, which I don't like doing. Got a little bit of sleep. Woke up this morning somewhere around four thirty ish. Getting ready to do my exercise load up lemonade head up to chicago so if you're in chicago i'm coming back had to come home take care of some business yesterday finally got it taken care of after three four tries and it is taken care of we're headed back up to chicago help some folks up there if you're in that area hope to see you have a good safe week